This is my sister, Amanda. She's a successful teacher, wife, and mom who I love and admire deeply. Like lots of people, I've watched the burden of debt weigh down on her entire family with stress, anxiety, and fear. Today, she thinks she's here to talk about debt, but little does she know, I've got a big surprise for her. Graduated, you're a teacher, mm -hmm. you love what you're doing. I do love it. Yeah. yeah do you I regret do. getting the debt that you have? No, I can't regret it. It is awful and it's a lot of money, but I wouldn't be where I am today without it. So it was a necessary sort of burden now that I carry with me. It's really overwhelming to think about. How does having the debt that you have with all of these accomplishments make you feel? not as as successful as we are yeah i think because you know i'm you know technically wearing all these hats of things that i've done but my debt sort of sets me back because um, my finances don't seem to match all the work that i've done do you find your debt holding you back from doing things that you want to do i think i would have more freedom with my money and i would we would feel less cornered in terms of of what we could spend our money on. It would make a big difference to not have the payment and I can't even imagine what it would be like. Did you think when you were getting into school and when you were getting to the debt that it would feel different when you got here, when you accomplished everything and you're sitting where you are? I couldn't have imagined what it would have felt like to have to pay this off. And I think the hardest part about it is just thinking about how long it's going to take. And I have to stop myself from thinking about that because it is overwhelming. I know how hard it's been for you to like feel proud of like what you've accomplished. Yeah. And like I get to watch you be successful and do all of these cool things. Mm -hmm. um, I know how overwhelming like debt felt to me. Um, but I'm super proud of you and you. I wrote you a letter. Oh. And I want to explain to you why okay. I'm proud of you and okay. why you should feel proud of yourself aside from the debt that you're carrying. Okay. Amanda. Every day I get to watch you be an amazing mother to the coolest kid on this planet. I get to watch you grow alongside of your best friend and build a home together, literally. I get to watch you create lasting and impactful relationships with your students. I get to watch you as you continue to educate yourself, not only through your career, but through this world. And I get to watch what you have left of love and time being put into being an incredible friend a podcast host, and my biggest hype woman. Every day you make me proud. Over the last three years of our lives, we have had some drastic highs and some very deep lows, yet through it all, you made sure to be there for me, cheering me on, and I will never be able to thank you enough for that. One of the coolest parts about getting to do what I do every day has been creating a debt-free life for myself. And I literally couldn't have done that without your friendship or support. We've talked about what your future looks like, taking Benny to Disney, getting another master's, or creating another tiny human one day. And I really want to make sure that you can do those things without the looming doubt that that has caused. I never in a million years thought that I would be where I am, but because I am, I wanted to let you know that I'll be taking care of all of your student debt. <laughs> your student loan and all of your line of credit. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you cry. <laughs> <laughs> I know firsthand how mounting debt consumes every aspect of your life. And not everyone has a sister who can just erase it in one go. Trust me, I know how lucky I am to be able to do this. But I promise you, you can overcome debt too. I know this because I've done it myself. <laughs>